Welcome back people, this is Demigod Christie for another Monster Hunter World and this time we'll be uh, hunting the Valhazak this time in the Rotten Vale The Valhazak is uh, one of the Elder Dragons that you need to hunt, a person who was uh, then uh, the Gigante, after that the Teshala Daura, the Teostra, and the Valhazak. The final of the dragon will be uh, the Sino, on which I'm still trying to build a new armor for that, an armor build. And as usual, I'll be using a light bow gun, again solo. Now if you plan to do the same, a light or heavy bow gun, uh, the um, Valhazak is a weak chest towards the fire, and then dragon, then ice, and then uh, thunder. Exactly immune to the water element. Here I use, um, I, I prefer the use of a sticky one bullet as well as the, the slicer bullet. Uh, in this case, I don't have the Karma uh, uh, LBG uh, build yet. I usually start off with using the sleep uh, ammo uh, to put the, um, the Valhazak to sleep and use a large and small barrel bomb to inflict uh, a large amount of damage. And as you may notice, I am also fond of using uh, the method I uh, showed in the, the Nagigante hunt uh, using the Wyvern uh, Blast, uh, the three-step three um, three process. The, place the Wyvern Blast, move forward, and then evade. To review that process, here is a clip from the Nergigante hunt. So what you do first is uh, place the Ribbon Blast, 1, 2, or 3, the most. And then you move forward so as not to hit the Ribbon Blast. You call the attention by the monster by hitting him with some ammo. And then you evade just as he charges so that he will be hitting the Ribbon Blast with maximum damage. This strategy actually gives, uh, inflicts a lot of damage. Uh, for the Valhazak, uh, largest damage I can inflict uh, because it's weak to fire is around 50. And it's very effective if you're trying to aim for a breakable part on its head. Uh, if you take a look at the video shown earlier, uh, I was able to break the two horns of the Nergigante. The Valhazak uses the Miasma to uh, damage the opponents. If the Miasma comes in contact with you, it will deal damage.
equipment with the uh, elder seal um, is able to dissipate miasma for a uh, period of time. Uh, unfortunately, for the light bow gun, there is no uh, equipment that has elder seal. The Valazak absorbs um, miasma from its environment and when it has uh, uh, absorbed uh, a lot, uh, enough uh, miasma it will shoot out a uh, beam of uh, miasma The miasma beam is able to hit you. It will actually reduce your life bar in two halves. And uh, the best way to uh, to re remove the status effect is to uh, uh, drink a null berry. So whenever you go back to camp, always remember to bring a null berry and as well as a max potion. In one of the areas that uh, you'll be battling the Vow uh, Azak is an area with a uh, acid lake. Now uh, be, be careful not to go into the acid lake since this will actually inflict damage. Furthermore, try to avoid not only going into the acid uh, uh, lake but as well being hit by the miasma which actually uh, causes more damage and uh, uh, you need to make sure you have your novel uh, handy and a lot of uh, mega or mass potion So the general tip I can give for this battle is uh, number one, uh, if you're using a light bow gun, use the the one, two, three step I explained uh, earlier. The place the move forward and the evasion. If you're not really uh, targeting any breakable parts on the head, avoid uh, positioning yourself in front of the Val Hazak. Use 
using a flash bomb is actually using, uh, useful in uh, uh, abruptly stopping the miasma speed of the Valhaza as well as uh, a good tool so you will have an opening to have multiple attacks. The ball attack is doing its uh, miasma speed. Always evade, 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 and evade. It will be useful to have a innovation skill. And ultimately, if you are damaged um, greatly and you don't see any window for you to uh, drink any max potion or, or potions for that matter, it is uh, wise to retreat if necessary. In that case, you can uh, uh, drink uh, some recovery potions as well as refill uh, your tools, your ammo your uh, flash bombs and uh, other items as well just don't forget uh, the mulberry just in case you've been hit by the miasma uh, so you could uh, restore your original uh, health this is actually one of the the best uh, updates or revisions of the Monster Hunter world in contrast with the earlier version the Monster Hunter 4G the Unite is that you could actually go back to camp and in the camp you could change equipment refill items as well like before whatever you um, started with before the start of the quest that's all the supply you have All in all, the, the mission using a light bow gun, uh, I edited the uh, video world uh, took around uh, 35 minutes. I've trimmed it, uh, removed some uh, returns to the camp. Uh, it took uh, and it's reduced to around 15 minutes. Again, like and subscribe my, on my channel. Help me get a uh, hundred views on this uh, video. Again, this is Demigod Christie. Thank you for your time and you have a good one. Bye now.